Hey everyone, in this video, I am going to share with you the process of creating such a elegant uh, repeat pattern in the app Hypaint. So I'll be sharing what are the basic steps you have to do and how you can achieve such a look in this app. So let's get started. Here I'm going to open a new canvas with one is to one ratio. So yeah and in the first layer I, i'm uh, basically i'm going to use three element only three element for these um uh, repeat pattern uh, elements means basic um you know details shapes drawing details that you have to uh, you're going to use uh you know for example it can be if it is a leaf uh, botanical repeat pattern full of line uh, line out of the leaves and some with the detailed uh, leaf detail, uh, artwork and it can be anything like if it is for the kids uh, it can be full of uh, balls boat aeroplane and these are the elements that you're going to create separately and in this repeat pattern i'm going to uh, create use three elements one is this botanical uh, leaf and another one is, is a basic circle one and another one is the butterfly so using these three elements i am going to create an elegant repeat pattern and here you can see i am using the leaf brush for drawing the sh uh, leaf shapes and once i drawn i am going to add some minor details for this so for that i am going to use a baby pink color and I'm going to switch on the lock transform pixel. So here you can either try out a leaf brush or uh, any brushes from the ink set or sketch set. So here you can add such details here or you can try this fountain pen. It is very good line, uh, you know, brush. It's you know like a doodle brush. Uh, it uh, thickness uh, will vary from point to point based on the pressure you apply on the uh, pen. So almost we're going to finish adding the basic line details for this botanical um, element. And once it's done, I'm going to add a little bit of shadow. Uh, uh, not a shadow like. A, um, color spray so i'm going to use 2b pencil and add this shading so we're going to finish shading here now I just created this element and I just hide that layer now in the new layer I am going to draw a basic circle so I am using the ballpoint pen brush now I'm going to add some lines here so basically I am going to split this into um, like a pizza uh, triangle uh, into uh, no, into eight pieces like this and here one as well now in the alternate squares uh, alternate triangle I'm going to fill with this orange color here I can see I left space Now I'm going to add some mild color here. So the second element is almost ready. I'm going to add a little bit of um, highlight like details here. So using the same color bit color and the leaf brush. Just a simple detail like this. And 
this is the second element now in the new layer i am going to create a butterfly so for this i am going to use the symmetrical uh, ruler and i am using the vertical symmetry and ballpoint pen brush Again, I leave some space here. You don't need to add uh, so many details, uh, especially when you are using multiple elements because it will uh, look you know real clumsy when you add too many details in each element so if you are adding uh, minor details in one element like we have done for the leaves potentially and keep another two elements simple as much as possible so that um, all get uh, mixed together uh, based on you know in everything like color contrast and some plain areas some high details and all those things so yeah our three elements are ready what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate each layer using the copy option and move one copy of the layer at the bottom and create a folder for that like this and drop everything inside the folder uh, why i'm doing this is for our future purpose if you are creating another repeat pattern with the same element but with a different uh, color you can uh, use that folder later on or also if you are messed up with the pattern and you want to go back to your elements and create a new pattern then also you can use that so now we have uh, the original uh, layers at the top and now i'm going to uh, make copy of that circle layer and position like this so uh, in this square i want i'm placing two uh, two circles like this and i'm just merging those two layer together now again for the botanical leaves Lay, uh, element i'm just duplicating that element once again and gonna placing two of uh, both of them in the frame like this so make sure you don't uh, make uh, a clumsy look now if you feel like placing it is very difficult and some of your uh, details or the uh, uh, like leaf get chopped off at the corner um, uh, don't do that just place uh, just minimize the size like this and position properly without too much um, you know intersection between these two elements here you can see in some points it is touching the other element in such case reduce or change the position of the element like this here you can see one element is big in size and the one is small in size now i merged them together now in this butterfly layer again just duplicating this placing one here another here okay now merge them together again just create a folder group them all inside that folder and duplicate that group so that if you mess up you can still go back to the these layers 
so hide that group one group and work on the um, group at the top and in first circle layer which is going to be at the bottom of the uh, pattern use the tile tool and try different uh, you know repeating pattern options which are available at the bottom what I have to do is just rotate and see which one looks good then change the horizontal spacing vertical spacing and offset value as you wish now you can see if I reduce like this everything look like a horizontal or diagonal detail and now it looks like a hexagon or something like that this looks better instead of everything like horizontal spacing or vertical spacing little bit of clumsiness is okay and a little bit of randomness is good now for this botanical again go to the tiling tool reduce like this check the different pattern styles adjust the values rotate them little bit and check what looks good for you this looks good and sometimes when you are rotating the elements get uh, some intersections means each touching each other so avoid those things here you can see the leaves are touching like this angle like this so then no one is touching each other and then reduce the size now it looks good click on the tick now for the I'm just reducing the opacity of the circle it is visible barely visible but still it makes a difference when it comes to the background and finally working on the butterflies again same thing just position them properly spacing size it's all up to you how you want so i don't want everything in the same size uh, for example uh, the um, you know the circle detail is almost transparent but still it has some effect at the background level and when it comes to the botanical leaves uh, it gives some fillings uh, for the entire pattern and for the butterfly it's going to be the main character and I'm going to keep it popped out uh, from the background as well as I'm going to keep this as bigger size compared to all other things here you can see compared to all other things the butterfly looks bigger and more visible and highly attractive so this is what I want once you're done just click on the tick and yeah uh, now you can simply click on this share option and save this as jpg if you keep uh, if you want to keep this with a white background or still you can save this as png and uh, apply different color backgrounds if you want so i'm going to keep that as white as well here here is our final pattern so i hope you like this repeat pattern tutorial if you have any doubt tell me in the comments below also if you like this tutorial share with the one who love to create repeat pattern and also who wish to learn digital art so thank you for watching and uh, many of you are not subscribing to my channel i don't know why so if you find my you know you find it useful please subscribe and watch and give some respect. Thank you for watching.